Mike Jones here with Ken's. We've got a brand new show for you, and it is awesome. My brother Kenny and I on Ken Stereo Junction. We have a store in Macon, store in Warner Robins. Been here since 1978. We love Middle Georgia. We love serving Middle Georgia. We have about 27 folks, men and women that work for us, that are really very good at serving you. We learn and breathe and eat this stuff up as far as knowledge goes. We're still the only store within five, six, seven, you call it 50 states if you want to, that has in-store service. What that means to you is what we've done since the day one, since my daddy and my uncle started our company is, if there's an issue with product, we don't have to send it off to nowhere land. We take care of it right here or we give you a brand new one. Plus, Middle Georgia's only free installation on all car stereo and stuff that fits in place. Now, we do have a custom department. You're going to see a lot of that. We got some folks out there that stretch way outside. If you can dream it, that is what we do. Let's get inside and check it all out. Okay, now some items that are finally back in stock. As we went through the virus, we had a lot of growing pains trying to make sure we kept inventory in for y'all. And as folks got staying at home, they started wanting more music, which I love that part because we like working for you. One thing that we did get back in is the Rockford Fosgate. This is an eight inch, Vented box. Vented is important for you to know because it breathes better, so you have a lot more lower bass at low volume. This is a self-powered. This is an amplifier built in. It comes with a bass knob. It comes with a way to control everything. You have a, a crossover network where you can make it where it doesn't get a lot of fluttery if you play deep bass or rock and roll bass and stuff like that. It comes with kind of a nice matted vinyl finish, but it fits a lot of places underneath hatchbacks, underneath seats and stuff like that. Really, really nice. And it's made to be laid on its uh, laid on its back or on its side. The coolest thing about this is it's $300 and it's completely ready to go knocking out. Now we do install this for free. You may need some cables and stuff. We'll talk about that. But for 300 bucks, it just sounds amazing. Now, Rockford Fosgate, again, to the rescue. Three-way, six and a half inch, check this out. Rockford Fosgate speakers. They do hold 150 watts of power. It's, it's, this is from their prime line. Now listen, they've been $129 for the six and a half inch three ways. I mean, for a long, 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 long time. The new versions that we just got in are $99 for a pair, for two. We do install them for free. You know, unless you have to modify the door, you want us to build some fiberglass crazy thing on your tractor or something. But, but these things are $99. And the cool thing is they come with grills. And you say, well, that's, well, why does that matter to me? Well, guess what? A lot of speakers don't come with grills anymore. And when you put them in a vehicle that has to have grills, now you have to buy these extra. Rockford Fosgate for 99 bucks has them built in. I've had these on display in Macon and Warner Robins if you listen to those. Now, JL Audio, arguably one of the best brands in the business, ran out of inventory for two months and we have just been begging. Now, we are a premier, like a platinum series type dealer from JL, which means we sell a lot of their stuff, which is really, really cool, which means we're also a service center for them, but that don't buy you product, okay? The number one selling subwoofer that they make is called a W1 V series, third generation. Yes, and we have them back in stock. This is the 10 W1 V3. The construction is absolutely amazing out of Florida, these guys are. JL Audio is one of the best sounding $200 subs I have ever heard in my life. I own a JL sub in my own vehicle, just to give you an idea. It just, it will take an absolute beating. And as you see, we have them in stock and I'm so happy. Now on the car stereo, my Macon and Warner Robins location, they always have the same deals uh, and, and you know, everything about it is just kind of getting your appointment set up and all that. That's the easy part, I can handle that. The price is on the money. Let me show you something cool that Sony came out with. This is an AM FM CD. It does have a thumb drive as well, but here's what's cool about this. It does have color change. That's nothing new for folks. It does have Bluetooth. You can add XM satellite radio for 99 bucks. Now this radio is 220 bucks, and you might say, why is it 220 bucks? Let me tell you, the number one thing is a lot of the cars uh, from the 80s and 90s and early 2000s have a factory subwoofer either in the console or the rear deck. Well, when you remove your factory radio, okay, you have to have an amplifier to run the sub because normally you take out the old factory amplifier. This has a 400 watt amp built into the radio. And it's not like some hokey thing. It literally will run your factory subwoofer with this radio for $219. Now, also in the world of touch screens, we are still sticking with the Alpine 650 right here which we know how important this radio is. It is an AM FM radio that when you plug in your phone, it gives, I'm sure you're seeing the cutaway now, it'll give you your maps and all of your, all your messages. Anything you want to do from your phone shows up on here. Not Netflix, sorry about that, but it does everything else. And um, we carry the Alpine and we carry the Pioneer stuff and we carry the Sony. Now, 
You know, we do a lot of classic cars. We did a really, really super hot ride, and I can't remember what show it's on that we did. It was just amazing uh, Chevrolet, and it was just perfect. Well, in that realm, he let us cut the dash. But a lot of you classic car guys are like, don't cut my dash. I just want to grab this box right here. This is a company called Custom Auto Sound, and for you guys that are in the classic world, you understand it. But Custom Auto Sound makes factory-looking radios uh, that have all the internals. So like for a Chevrolet Camaro or, or Nova or whatever you're doing there, and they do it for Ford, Chevrolet, and Dodge. But what it is is because we need it to fit in the right spot, the stems, meaning the shafts, they have to be adjustable for certain, certain cars. They literally make the chassis to fit in your vehicle without modifications and it has Bluetooth and it has a way for you to add an amplifier. Anything you want to do, these guys are really good at it and we are a dealer for them. A lot of times I forget to make sure you know that. Last thing before we go to the next segment, I'll show you speakers. Uh, these are the Rockford Fosgates I was talking about for $99. They are absolutely fantastic. I have these in stock. These are $99. Bucks. These Phoenix Golds right here are $130. And I also have some higher end Rockford Fosgates that are going to be up in, the, in this world that are going to be, uh, they're going to get up around 160 bucks. But, you know, I carry speakers like that that go all the way up to, you know, $500 like Audio Frog. So I just want you to know I have, some people have this misconception that, you know, if it's $99, you don't have anything that's really high end. Or if you have high end, you don't have anything that's 99 We carry the whole gamut, like the whole spectrum. So when you go in making a Warner Robins, you can go right here, and I'm going to give you a little sound demo now. I'll crank this up, and you can listen to your music to make sure that it sounds like you want to sound. Listen to that clarity, it's right on the money. I mean, that's $99, y'all, $99. So when you come in, you talk to one of these guys, one of my pros, girls, guys and gals are just, that's what they do. What they do is they look up on our computer what fits in your vehicle, and then we kind of add it all together, give you a little package price, and then you get free installation unless we do some of the custom work. So making a Warner Robins inventory finally coming back in. Thank you all for letting us work for you. The deals are on. Okay, now it's important. What you see here is just a disarray as it's a brand new construction. But what we see is a way to make sure that your world of technology later on down the road is so important. What we know is you know, that people always pre-wire electrical, right? Here's my electrical, right? We know that people always pre-wire their pre-install AC lines and lights and all this. I mean, all this gets put in. But so many times people realize that they'll come in after they've built their house and they go, wait a minute. You know, I like music, you know, I like watching TV, I like having cameras. Why didn't I just pre-wire before it? This is, it's so funny how people will forget that, but that's where we come in. This is what we do. We'll come out and pre-wire new construction. So if you look right here, right here you'll see is we're gonna put a 75 or 85 inch panel. Now we're pre-wired, we have internet in place, we have coax in place, we have power in place, right? And then what we're gonna do is do flush mount speakers. So we'll have a center channel speaker here, We'll have our left and right speakers here that will flush in. They'll have magnetic grills and you can paint over them. And if you look right here, this is kind of the heart of it. So we're going to put a piece of furniture in this particular theater. And this thing gives me all my speaker, all my cable for like direct TV. And then I'll have internet in place. So this will give me all the, uh, everything I need to do from a technology standpoint later on down the road. And I don't have to try to get back into that little bitty space at a later date. Another thing about this is with it being no sheetrock in place, I'm going to flip around here. I've got my rear speakers where I can flush them in the ceiling. So in this room, you'll have your nice piece of furniture up there that holds all your AV gear, but all everything else will be kind of flushed in the wall. We'll have a subwoofer on that far left corner. The cool thing about a pre-wire is it saves you money later down the road. So it's typically something that takes eight, nine, 10, 11 hours. If you do a pre-wire in a room like this, you can pre-wire it in two hours and then you can do the installation in two hours. So it saves you five hours of labor and a whole lot of headache. Okay, now, and now I'm downstairs. This is a closet downstairs. The coolest part about this is this allows me to put in sound on the porch. This allows me to put in six different cameras. I have, in other words, this really satisfies a lot of situation for a later day. And also we've got a cat line that we're running from up in the theater. So why, why would I run a cat line to the theater, which is an ethernet line, like an internet wire, if you want to say that. What it does is, when I'm in my theater, if somebody pulls up in my driveway, I can just hit a button on the remote control and I can see the entire outside of the house on my big giant 75 inch or 85 inch TV. I think that's important because a lot of people will say, well, I'll be able to see it on my iPad or my phone. That's true. But if you don't have internet or your internet goes out, you still have to be able to see what's going on outside your house if everything goes to heck in a handbasket. So pre-wire is so important. Now, I'm gonna flip you around to here. 
this is the back porch, and we're kind of almost there on the back porch. And again, because I don't have all this filled in yet, and because I have a brick wall right here, right, and because I have a brick fireplace right there, putting speakers in right now, as you can see right there, a speaker there and a speaker there, putting four speakers and flush them in the ceiling right now, it's a piece of cake. The entire pre-wire is four or five hours long, where if you had to do this after the, all the walls were up, would take 12, 14, 15 hours. So it saves you a lot of headache, number one. Number two, you can put things exactly where you want. So pre-wires are super duper important. We do pre-wires, very big part of who we are, from the audio, video, automation, and security cameras. Again, my phone number's gonna come up one more time right here. You can call me, the estimate's free, so it's cool just to kind of come out and then we can all kind of pick our brains. And we absolutely, positively can make whatever you're thinking in that arena, what we, what we do, we can make it happen no matter what. That's what we do okay this is a 1984 chevrolet almost like no 1984 chevrolet that you've seen this is completely built i'm sure you're seeing cutaways as we're going through this this thing is unbelievable huge huge motor huge power huge everything but then he called me and said now, i've done vehicles from he always does the best of the best whether it be muscle car or muscle truck, he always does the best of the best. So what we did is he said, I have to have sound, but what you gotta remember is, this is a regular cab truck, meaning that this is where it all ends, folks, right here. So you have to be a little bit creative in that world. Now, the good news is, in the 80s, Chevrolet a lot of times would put speakers in the back in the side panels here. The bad news is, most of the time they did a speaker up here, and it was about this big. And the really early ones had one right here, and it was about this big. And either way, it was about six watts, and it sounded horrific. So we'll have folks come in in these 84s and they'll want to put like a three and a half inch speaker up here. And the problem is they just don't sound good and they have no mid range. It's just a bunch of highs firing up in the windshield. So it's a lot of harsh. Now, now that I give you all that crazy description, what we do is we do these kick pods. So these kick pods are custom made. There's a bunch of companies that make these out there and they come in like a vinyl or a uh, ABS plastic. And this holds a true either six and a half inch two way or like this, when you want to do it really nice, you get a tweeter and a six inch mid base and you can hide the crossover. You see our cables that pull up in here. You can hide the crossovers behind this and it's all nice. The nice is, the nice part is, it doesn't mess up my foot well. And if I had to rest my foot on it, because it's solid, like a factory piece would be, it works like it's supposed to. Everything fits properly. So this is Alpine. You've got tweeter, mid range, crossover hidden. And it just gives you a lot of sound. The cool thing we did here is, this actually ended up being a two-way and a tweeter. He really wanted a lot of clean highs, so we kind of upgraded where these things are firing up. So this fires to my driver, that one fires to my passenger. Does that make sense? So now I got tweeter, tweeter, mid-range, lots of highs. Then you would say, okay, that takes care of that, but what about having that rear feel? Check this out, pull this seat forward. So in the rear feel world, we've got an Alpine 6x9 custom-made bracket that fits in the factory location, and these fire kind of around the seat, if you'll see like this, it kind of fires around the seat to give me that kind of a rear feel. We were really kind of super funky about what we're gonna do with the subwoofer box. So this is, this is, I'm so awesome. Eight inch Rockford Fosgate. It comes with a really, really nice vinyl wrap covering. It is anywhere from 100 to 300 watts, depending on which one you do. But look, I mean, look, cool. It's, I mean, this thing goes all the way back. So if I'm a five foot 10 or a six foot two driver, I'm a passenger, I can sit in here and still have plenty of room. We did not choose to put one on this side, not a big deal. This thing has so much sound. I'm gonna give you a sound demo in a minute. I gotta show you this, this is Alpine. This is their AM FM CD. It has USB and it has Bluetooth and Bluetooth audio, so this does the job. And we took the microphone and put it right up at the top of the windshield here, and it kinda just does its thing. It's nice because what? Now he's completely legal in a 1984 Chevrolet truck that had nothing about it legal. All right, now I'm gonna give you a sound demo, but what I want you to pay attention to is the mids, the highs, and the bass. I'll give you a little bit of bass here. I mean, the highs, the mids, the bass. I mean, it is crystal clear. Not all bass, not all highs. You come in and talk to these guys. These, brain, these guys are brainiacs. These guys and girls are brainiacs, right? When you come in and talk to them, they design the system around your budget. But at the end of the day, we want to be able to know that you can ride down the road 70 miles an hour with the windows down, crank it up, and it'd be concert series. Concert series of music. Concert style of music. 84 Chevrolet. I'm so thankful to work for these folks. Absolute perfection. Too cool for school. Awesome. Okay, now when you have this size, that's a Sony first gen called Bravia. That's the kind of the flat panels that were about five inches thick and they work wonderful. Amazing picture. But over time, TVs have not only got more affordable, they were much easier to install on the wall and a much better picture. This is LG, this is a 2020 model, 65 inch 4K. Now keep in mind those TVs are anywhere from 
$1,300 on the high end of LCDs all the way down to the 600 area for LCDs and LEDs and I think it's amazing that you can get that brand. So LG and Samsung kind of run neck and neck in quality. Picture quality, as you can see, is absolutely amazing. Now, that's a full-on smart TV. It does allow me to go into my Netflix features, and all my smart features are built in right here. So I can go to Netflix, I can go to uh, Pandora, I can get yeah, all my features, plus you can add, like we added an Apple TV for him as well. Now, what's cool is, well, what's not cool is the sound of the TV is not that great. So we complemented it with Yamaha 109 soundbar, and this allows you to mount it on a counter, up, up on the wall, which I love. We put power in two different locations and hit all the cables underneath so it's nice and clean. And the Direct TV remote control, which all of us, if you have Direct TV, know what this is, it will control the soundbar. That's the number one thing that we always have people ask is, can I turn my soundbar up and down from my Direct TV remote? Yes, you can. You don't have to have two remotes. Wow, man. Another cool thing, it's just sugary. Right here, it's is it has it's Bluetooth, so, so I can stream music from my phone, which is nice. And it has clear voice. Now, clear voice is important. Let's hit this. See how the voices get slow, really low? But listen, ready? This night and day, right? And the idea is that's a pattern from Yamaha because the number one complaint is I can't hear dialogue. Like, I hear explosions, but I can't hear dialogue. And Yamaha answered that. Like, Two minutes. The sound bars are $200 to $300 for Yamaha, which is completely mind boggling. Now, when you get done with it, it's nice because it's clean. And I like the fact that this will mount flat and fires the speakers towards you. This mount has a little bit of tilt on it because we have a lot of glass in here and we're trying to keep that glare down because all these TVs now have shinier surfaces. So when you get done with it, you get a perfect picture, all your smart features, perfect sound, Bluetooth, bam, awesome. All right, now in the world of security cameras, we have a lot of folks who come with a lot of questions and, and here it is, they make the ones that are Wi-Fi driven. So, so in the world of Wi-Fi driven cameras, we carry Google, which is also the, called the Google Nest or Google Nest Pro company. They make these in indoor and outdoor. Um, and the advantage of these is that they are cloud-based. So that all of their memory goes into a cloud-based, no separate DVR. So the advantage of the Wi-Fi side is I don't have a home run wire running back uh, to a DVR. Now, the disadvantage, if there's a pro and a con, so a reason some people choose this versus the other is, this works off your Wi-Fi and however many cameras you have is how much Wi-Fi that it's using. So the advantage is the Wi-Fi is nice because I'm not running cables to it. The disadvantage is that if my Wi-Fi goes out, no camera. So that kind of gives you an idea. In the modern world, a lot of people say, well, I'm not ever going to lose my Wi-Fi, but you know, again, that's just kind of a, a chance you have to take in that arena. Now, the cool thing is with Google, like you know what this is, the Google tablet, it allows you to speak to the tablet. So if you have one of their doorbells like this and somebody rings the doorbell, you know how to come up on your phone, but let's say you're just in the house. So when somebody rings my doorbell, I can say, hey, Google, show me sales floor on showroom. And then it will immediately throw this to your TV. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So this actually is now seeing that. Hey Google, front door on showroom. And then that shows up. See, and how amazing how clear the picture is. It makes it all work. It's nice. So this allows me to take TVs that are compatible, which is pretty much all smart TVs in the last couple of years, and I can throw my images up there, or I can put them on this tablet, which controls my thermostats. It controls my internet, my Wi-Fi. They're going to have switches. They're going to have alarm systems that control. I mean, anything and everything can operate from this one device if you choose to have that. So it's nice to have that. Their doorbell, like they do make theirs, they're called the Hello doorbell, and this has audio and video built into it. It is a full HD camera. And they make these that is kind of like the Ring series, but the difference is the way this is protected from the from the internet side of people not being able to break into that code has just been done a little bit better by Google. Not knocking Ring, it's amazing, but this Hello piece is really really nice, and it's you know sometimes they have a 199 to 249 depending on which carriage you get, but it's super cool because once it's connected to your IP, you can also put in a chime. So you see that piece right there, right? So you're saying, what about my chime if I'm not if I'm not just listening to my phone? Well just like a regular doorbell and they make that a wireless or a wired so you can convert your doorbell system into a full-on setup with a chime instead of it not just going to your phone so you can control it from your phone now right now you're seeing a cutaway of a camera grid of wired cameras and you can see the clarity is unbelievable you can have a major major grid in place and these are wired cameras, which means they have a hard wire, a Siamese cable that goes to them, and they come back into a power supply. And it actually has a hard-driven DVR. It records 24-7. Depending on the hard drive, you can now get a 32 or 64 terabyte hard drive, which is about 6 to 10 months. So my phone number comes up right here, and I'll come out and design the camera system for you to make sure it fits budget and your expectations of quality. Again, we back it up with a two-year warranty. There's my phone number. Call me. I'll come out and do the design, and we'll uh, get you feeling nice and cozy and safe 
in your house. Awesome. Now with these Can-Am Defenders, you know, these are fully enclosed. I got cold air conditioning blowing on me. It's 95 degrees outside. I mean, this, this is like the real deal. If you're going to take it out in the woods, I think this is what you want to be in. Completely chilled. Of course, it all breaks down into this cool hunting type vehicle as well. Now, but when people come in with these, they, sometimes they just, we're not going to do subwoofers and amplifiers, and though we want you to do that. They said, hey, I just want to do the basics, but I need something that can handle weather and quality. So in their overhead consoles you see here, it has this slot for um, a radio or switches. And so what we put in is the Rockford Fosgate PMX1. And what this is, is a completely weatherproof housing. It has its own amplifier. And you see I'm already connected to my Bluetooth. We did Alpine speakers in the console. This console is from the factory now. I, I want to make sure you know that. But we adapt it to hold our Alpine speakers or our Rockford Fosgate or whoever did we decided to put in there. We did Alpine in here because clarity is so nice. And they fire kind of like right here. So giving you a little demo, amazing what 100 watts can do. Like really amazing sound in the cab of this vehicle, this Can-Am Defender. Wow, man, that's cool. Now, here's what you need to know. See how the high is right on, man. And what you need to know is, it's not crazy money, right? You can buy speakers anywhere from $100 to $200 for a pair, depending on what brand you choose. You can buy these head units anywhere from $200 to $400, and it comes with its own amplifier, right? So it's nice to know that you can come in, and of course, when it fits like this and we don't have to modify, guess how much labor you pay? Nothing. Y'all, Pierce Memorial out here in Sparta. Take a look at this up here real quick. So we deal with things like this so that you guys don't have to. It's disgusting, it's old. So we're updating everything. We're going new, we're going digital. We're running some cats. So we have two different overflow rooms. This is kind of their kitchen fellowship hall. We're doing a Bible study down there. Let's take it over. Dad's actually in the sanctuary. Let's see what they got going on over there. It's gonna be awesome. All right, now thank you, Justin, for bringing it inside. This is the sanctuary. Now, this is a very big part of this because when you're dealing with something that literally was born in the years of 1800s, when you have that date, you have to make a difference, right? This old school ceiling is going to eventually come out and they're going to redo this. But this presents quite a challenge for us. So we come in, we put it in our chapel, and get all this stuff in place. They just got finished sighting the distance of the projector to the screen. We're going to build in a motorized screen up there in that trim, and then we're going to remake our own trim to cover up the housing for the screen. So we're literally, when the screen is up, it will look just like it was built in 1800, right? So this allows us to get up to the ceiling. We have another level that has to go in first to get into there. Now, up under here, we are going to mount a robotic camera. And, and I'm not, we haven't decided exactly where we're going to put it. And the robotic camera is going to be connected to the internet because over the COVID, they've picked up a lot of folks that live stream their service. So they're going to live stream from here. And that robotic camera will allow them to follow, see the scripture, see the, the pastor, see anybody that's guest speaking, all the choir and all that. Now, also from here, we've run cat lines. And I'm going to show you a little time lapse here. I hope you're seeing it now. That we've run cat lines over into there. What are cat lines? It's kind of like an ethernet or an internet cable that allows us to send this HD signal and this digital sound over to the building over there so they can have a Sunday school room and a nursery and the fellowship hall can see that from an overflow or if you're volunteering over there, you get to see the whole service. So right now, I'm gonna, we're gonna minute, we're gonna take it back over to JJ for the finished product, but this kind of right now, it's like in disarray, but for me, that's when, my, that's when I start licking my chops because it's gonna be nice. So just kind of look back up there and just imagine, and it should be fading over to absolute perfection now. All right, here we are, finished product, y'all. This is the back, and obviously this camera is super, super close on me, but this is HD, so this is what you get with HD, you get the good, you get the bad from this little guy right here. So we flipped him upside down, he's actually hanging upside down, he's mounted on that wood post, and you'll see him moving left and right, and you won't be able to see him zooming in and zooming out, but you see him kind of working. All that's happening up there where Jarvis is. You're probably seeing it kind of right now, Jarvis on the controller. Now, this back confidence monitor is what a lot of people call that, is a 65 inch. So now if I'm in the choir, or if I'm pastor, or if I'm anywhere on front, I can see this, the lyrics, you're probably seeing cut away now, of the lyrics or the Bible, so if I am singing, I can see that. Let's focus on the front. So the front is just beautiful. So our partner came in here, Gene, and actually built, if you're seeing cut away now, a close-up of that little cornice piece across the front. So you actually put a nice little piece of trim there, we mount the screen, it all tucks up in there, but it's a big enough image. So we actually have a 110 inch image, looks great from anywhere, you're, you're right now about halfway back in the pews and looking at that and we can see everything. 
So Pierce United Methodist Church, Sparta, Georgia, complete makeover. You can follow them on Facebook because we actually did some live streaming here too. So if you want to, if you want all the goodies without having to come out here to Sparta, Pierce UMC, and you can watch this live stream. You can hear this live stream. It's going to be awesome. Sparta, Georgia, Pierce UMC. Okay, there we go. Another show. Thank you so much for spending your time watching this show and watching us gallivant all over the place. But I thank you for letting us work for you. I'm telling you what, I, I, I'm very thankful to have a, a family-owned business. We've been here since 1978. I'm very thankful to have the folks that are part of the Kins family, maybe not by blood, but wow, we've got some genius minds in our locations that do what they do for you. I got my social media coming up right here. I want you to go to our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating that and our Instagram and our Facebook. I constantly, and I mean, we try to constantly show pictures of installs to give y'all ideas so you can kind of dream up this cool, cool system that you want us to build for you for your ATV or for your tractor or your boats or we've been doing all kinds of wave runners. We do churches, we do home theater, security systems, like I showed you on this segment, you know, we showed you the difference in a wireless type of a Wi-Fi type camera system versus wired. And whichever one fits your fancy, I carry the best of both of those. The reason I say that to you is I try not to carry entry level product, not from a pricing standpoint, you understand what I'm saying is I'm not, I'm, I don't do entry level like that. I try not to carry entry level in features and quality for you. I always try to choose products that I know will be a long term relationship between you and these amazing minds that do what they do. Now, in the world of financing, I have four month layaway, I have no credit check financing, and I have 12 months, sometimes even 24 months, 0%, which is nice. So when you come in, also, there's some safety. I got, you want some security blanket for you? I love this part. We are still the only shop in all of the tri-state right now, which is Georgia, uh, Alabama, and Florida, that have a certified technician that has in-store service. Mostly in the United States, people just don't do that, which means I don't send stuff off that has to be repaired. I have my own crew that repairs products. If it can't be repaired and you're under warranty, guess what? You get a brand new one. No questions asked, that's the way we roll. If it can be repaired, we get repaired, but something else that's cool is, if it's one of those tricky things that 65 inch TV went out and it's under warranty and all the gang's coming over this weekend, we give you a loaner, which is nice. We have customer care plans for two, three, even four years to cover everything, including lightning. That is super cool. My name and number comes up right here. Use that if you need me to come do a design or an estimate for you. That's what I do. I love to take care of you in that area. If you have an experience you want to share with me, please do that. I ask and pray that if you have a bad experience, I know, but if you have a good experience, I'd like to know because I would like to make sure that it's the best experience you can get in what we do as we work for you. It's kind of cool. I'm going to leave you with this. In Luke 6.31, it says, it's so simply stated, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. The best way I can say that is, please be nice. Be nice, man. There's a, there's a tough world out there right now, and a lot of people really just having all these crazy opinions and this subjective morality of what's right and what's wrong. Let's get past all that, okay? I want you to pray, okay? And just be nice. Let, let's just try to make this world a better place. And I don't want that to sound some weird, crazy political moment for kids. It's nothing like that. I just know that the nicer I am to folks, the nicer they are to me. I, that, I, I really have, li I'm telling you, the nicer right now, the meaner I am to folks, the meaner they are to me. So let's Let's just be nice. I think that's what God would want us to do. That's what Jesus says. Love as I have loved you. Come see us again and make it. Good morning, Rob. Here's George Rick. <laughs> Look at him. He like starts hiding behind his hand. <laughs> and here's Jarvis. Still <laughs> not right. Why? What you doing, Jarvis? <laughs> Why leave?